We are at a cozy A-frame in Boulder, Colorado that is full of intentionality, history, and character. Let's go check it out. When you walk through the front door, you'll come into this open floor plan A-frame that is gorgeous with floor to ceiling windows overlooking a mountainous view. You'll notice that there are a lot of colors, textures, and decor that is seamlessly woven together by the host, starting with this organic floor that came from a tobacco bar in Kentucky and not only did he put it in but he oiled it himself so there's a lot of love and energy put into this home and you'll be able to tell let me show you more this living room has plenty of seating and is right across from an entertainment center with a wood-burning stove to keep it nice and cozy in the cold months and then it comes into the dining room that has plenty of seating and overlooks the creek below a lot of a-frames kind of tend to be a a little bit dark but this one is very bright because of all of these windows across this side over here is the kitchen now the kitchen is unlike anything I have seen before there are concrete countertops custom cabinetry and a backsplash that was done by the host because he is actually an artist and so you will see his art displayed throughout the home and it feels very unique not only is he an artist but he's also a chef so you have a fully stocked kitchen that is not lacking any spice, appliance, or utensil so you can make a delicious meal. Let's go down this hallway. Off to the side is the main floor full bath and something interesting is that the owner Joshua is a world traveler and during his time in Africa he learned the technique called Tadillac and that's the texture that you'll see on the walls. He also was inspired to make his own high quality natural soaps which you'll see in the shower called Alpine Provisions. Next to the bathroom is the downstairs bedroom with a queen bed and more textures on the wall and some displayed art. Let's go across from the bedroom. Here is the office with a really cool wood slab desk that actually came from a tree that was taken down in downtown Boulder. So they reused it and it is gorgeous. You also have access to the deck outside, but before we get there, we're gonna go upstairs. At the top of the stairs, you have a balcony that overlooks the living space that has a metal railing, and there's metalwork on this large rolling door that leads into the bedroom. The metalwork was actually done by the owner's neighbors, so again, just lots of intentionality in this home. This bedroom has a extremely comfortable king bed. It is either the most comfortable bed we've ever slept in or Hayden and I were so tired from our hike yesterday that we just had the best sleep of our lives. Which, if you wanna watch that video, you can also check that out on our channel. Across from the bed, you've got a fireplace and TV, and then more art displayed from the host. Through this hidden doorway, there is a closet and a full bath with a giant bathtub and rainfall shower head. The walls are also tadillac like the downstairs bathroom. And then the vanity countertop is also a slab of wood that was cut from that same tree from downtown Boulder. And now let's go to the basement. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and comment down below your favorite part of this Airbnb. So for an extra $100 a night, you get access to this whole downstairs area, which includes a living room with TV for entertainment, a queen bed, and a washer and dryer. And there are some really cool features down here, which I wanna show you, starting with my favorite, that is this mural done by the host with some dancing sponges. And then the floor actually came from a barn from Gregory Allen Isaacoff, who is a musician based in Boulder. and in the floor, the owner took a shotgun to it, made a hole, and then put a passport and some shotgun shells in it, and then sealed it. So there's like really cool piece of art within the floor. Just very unique touches that make this whole place feel like an art piece. Now Hayden is going to show you the outside. By the way, if you're a host of a unique and amazing Airbnb or short-term rental that you want us to feature, you can go to journeymore.com and fill out the contact form. We would love to work with you. The exterior of this A-frame is beautiful. Behind me here, there's tons of rocks that go up over the mountain that really make you feel like you're in the Rockies. Right here next to the door is the 
famous Rusty Skillet, which is what this whole place is named after, called the Rusty Skillet Ranch. On the back deck, they've got a grill, and behind me here is an outdoor shower, and next to it, it's a genuine cedar hot tub that was built by a father-son duo in Maine. We've never actually used a cedar hot tub, so we're really excited for that. There's a giant seating area to the left of that, and then an outdoor dining table that has access to the kitchen. This property is beautiful, and standing out here, you can hear the creek coming down. It's such a soothing place. And not only that, you're only 15 minutes from Boulder, which is such a cool town with great restaurants and great nightlife. And then if you're an outdoorsy person, you're only about an hour from the Rocky Mountain National Park, which we got to have a lot of fun in while we were here in Colorado. And if you want to book the Rusty Skillet Ranch yourself, you can go to the link in the description below. So I've never been in a cedar hot tub before, so I'm really excited for this new experience. to have one of our absolute favorites, balsamic chicken for dinner. And Hayden is a wonderful chef and cooking it for me. <laughs> say that that's gonna work. <laughs> yes, it will. So apparently this wood-burning stove can really make it toasty in here. So it's gonna feel really good once it's up and running. <laughs> This cabin is so cozy. It's really just the perfect vibe for coming to the mountains and cozying up with your loved one. <laughs> Our stay here at this A-frame has been amazing. Just getting to sit out here and enjoy the surrounding mountains. It's just so cozy and so comfortable. And it was awesome getting to FaceTime the host, Joshua, and just walk through the house with them and hear the story and the intentionality behind everything that's in this cabin. I took art for four years in high school and just love and appreciate all the effort he put in. So it was awesome. It's very special. <laughs> Please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and comment down below what do you think of this beautiful art piece of a cabin. Mm -hmm.